talking Smash about this time. <laughs> Are we actually we, streaming now? We, uh, I, I thought I, I clicked the start streaming button, but uh, there's a new version of Open Broadcaster, and I actually hit the start recording button. Oh. Uh, so I started actually singing Smash Mouth. Uh, you might know the song. Somebody once <laughs> told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Do you remember the, the album that that song was on? Do you remember what the album cover looked like? It was a car floating through space and the car was glowing green. And I was always curious if that was an intentional oh. reference to Repo Man. I, I like know. Repo Man. Repo Man's great. I don't know if it is or if that was an intentional reference or it's just a coincidence, but yeah. Yeah. That, that ending with that music and everything. Oh, yeah. Wind. <laughs> <laughs> the girl's like, to Emilio, what about our relationship? And he just goes, fuck that. He gets in the <laughs> flying car. Flies away. <laughs> Spoilers, everybody, for Repo Man. <laughs> <laughs> if they haven't seen it by now. If you haven't seen it by now, see it, because it's got damn great. It's yeah. got one of the best movie soundtracks of all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Repo Man was fun. Mm-hmm. That was a fun movie. Recently released by Criterion, which is kind of crazy. Really? Yeah, and Criterion put out Repo Man. Good for them. You know what? Good for them. Okay, hi everybody. <clears throat> We're here now for realsies. Did we bother with introductions? Or they, they all fucking know who we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rich I don't is... think they accidentally stumbled into the stream. Uh, you know, you never know. Rich is here, Jack is here, and Jay is here. And I've got pumpkin beer. Ooh. Not at the moment, but I have some in the fridge. Is it pumpkin beer time already? Oh, God damn, it is, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I, I put up my Halloween decorations <laughs> and my plastic uh, jack-o'-lantern on August 31st. It's only September. For Halloween. It's Halloween for the next two months. That is not true. <laughs> it has been in my place. Oh, it's great. I'm tempted to leave it up all year long. <laughs> That's terrible. But yes, it's, it is pumpkin beer season. Mm. Well, well, good. You know what? Good. All right. Having some problems already, but that's cool. <laughs> it's quite possible that you guys are not hearing the game music, but... Oh, no, you should be hearing the game music. All right. Hold on. We're going to get Invisible Ink going. Just... You know, you know, in a past stream, you, you, were, you guys were talking about... Uh, I hadn't seen it yet, the trailer for Tusk. Oh, yeah. And you're saying it was just rip off the human centipede? It's the human centipede, except instead of I, a human centipede, it's I, a walrus. I just saw the trailer myself. It looks more like a parody of the human centipede to me. I think it's just supposed to be a joke that it's a walrus. I don't know. I couldn't get a... a... They're like comic actors, right? Well, I mean, not Michael Parks. Yeah. Oh, my God. Michael Parks is great. Um, but I, don't, I couldn't figure out from that trailer what kind of tone he was trying to go for. <sighs> Whether or not he's going for it, it, it I got a comedy vibe. <laughs> the premise I, is, I got a comedy vibe. The premise is funny, but nothing in the trailer made it look like the movie was supposed to be funny. That's okay. why I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. I'll probably see it just out of curiosity, but... I'm, I'm, I'm assuming... I don't know if this is a joke. I've heard another movie he's working on. It's called Moose Jaws, which is a kind of a straight-up Jaws homage, only it's a giant moose and oh not a God. shark. I don't, I don't know. He's entering some kind of awkward horror comedy phase, <laughs> or if he's just that bad at pulling off horror. I think he's entering a phase because he does his podcasts and he is a, an advocate of being stoned all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I think no, that's he talks about it all the time. And I think he on his podcast they just talk a bunch of bullshit and they come up with some dumb idea as a joke. And then he says, "Well, let's just make a movie on that." That seems to be what he's doing. I know for a fact that's what Tusk is. Okay. So I don't. I don't know. It's like just some dumb idea you you think of, joke you know, jokingly, and then you decide to actually make it. So I don't know. Yeah, he can do what he wants. I don't give a shit. He can't do what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he can also do nothing, and that might be better. You know, that could be nice. <laughs> I just wish he would shut up. He went on a tirade back when it came out about how critics are the worst thing, and every critic is a failed artist, and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Critics shouldn't be allowed to. To see to review movies that they don't pay for, and now just recently I read because the Tusk is getting decent reviews. Yeah, and so he's like, you know, maybe I was too harsh on critics. Oh, shut the <laughs> fuck up! Like, fuck you! That's so, awesome. He, he's, he comes across like a like a like a drama queen, like a high school drama queen. Sure. Oh, that's you know what that is. That's too bad. <laughs> 
that's just too bad. That's really funny. Boop boop. You suppose he ever washes that hockey jersey he's always wearing now? <laughs> I'm sure he has like 15 of them. Yeah. Right? Are you are you sure? I'm not sure. This is the man who's making a movie called Moose Jaws. Maybe. Moose Jaws. Moose Jaws maybe. Um, what is going on with this? Show? We're having some issues. Oh no! It wouldn't be a previously recorded live stream if we weren't having some issues. There doesn't seem to be much going on in the chat. Did your chat stop? I that? typed testing and it showed up, but nobody's typing anything. Con oh, mine's going. Confirm is chat. It? Can you hear us? Your okay, chat's Yeah, they're, they're talking about Kevin Smith. And okay. Oh, why is Ma mine froze? Master hypocrite extraordinaire private eye. What? Why is it always J J J screen is fucked. Okay. Hey, all right. More well, problems. At least it's not a technical problem on our end. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Every, you know what everything is? Everything's fine. Except for the fact that we're not playing the game. That's not fine. That's not fine. Well, you guys, are, you're just going to have to hear us talk for a little bit, and that's, <coughs> that's going to have to be fine. Can we make fun of Kevin Smith some more? Absolutely. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't have anything else to say. I just read that. I think today <laughs> that where he's talking about how he... Maybe he was too <laughs> That's what happened. I know what's happening now, guys. Don't worry. <coughs> I have no idea what's happening. I know what's happening now. I remember this. We've had this issue before. We've had this exact issue before. I, I did, did end up at some kind of... He was, he, was, he was in Milwaukee for some kind of chat with Kevin Smith live thing. And uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I just ended up going with, with Mike and Jesse. I think you were with, too. Yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah, and, and Jason Hughes was there. Yep. The the J of J and Silent Bob, and the <laughs> the man is just a fucking scumbag. <laughs> oh, no. That's him, not true. Him and is his it? stories just illustrate what a horrible human being yeah. he is. <laughs> One time I was fucking this chick in a car, and then I got out of the car. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's like, and what, I fell what? on my face because I... I was so fucked up on drugs. And everyone in the theater is just, like, laughing. He's got the worst fan base. Oh, not not Jason Mewes because he wouldn't have a fan base without Kevin Smith. <laughs> the Kevin Smith fan base doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make. But any yeah, sense. where it's like they just like Jason Mewes saying things. It doesn't matter how stupid or awkward horrible, or horrible really horrible, not even funny. Yeah, just... that's the thing. It's like he wasn't spinning it in, into like I, a. I stole story. my friend's car and then I, I got into a car accident. And I was I was high, so I ran away from the cops and abandoned his car. And that's my story. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't apologize or anything. <laughs> I just asked him for more money the next day. What's funny is right after that happened, three half in the bag, which is the one with the the uh, uh, the thing that comes in the mail where it's full of it's his used yeah like it's used colostomy bag. Oh yeah yeah. We got a close up of the the shit hitting the ground and it fell right onto a, a, a newspaper. That had Kevin Smith on the cover, <laughs> so we intentionally did that because of that show. Oh, <laughs> we, were, we were like, "Fuck that guy!" Oh, he's sad. <laughs> hey. Really not though. I mean, he's successful. He's doing what he wants. Good for him. But right. Kevin, I'm, Kevin I'm Smith can him. tell him using enough stories. He I'm, can. Yeah. I'm just saying that Jason Muse is a scumbag. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that's fair. <laughs> I guess. I mean, well, is he still a scumbag? Is the thing. Is he, well, he seemed like it. Um, or has he gotten his shit together? Well, I know the man personally, so I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing insight. Oh well, then there you go. I know. I know. I think he's clean now. I know he had like horrible drug problems. Yeah. I think he's clean now. There's a, there's a lot of drug addicts that claim they're clean. That's true. I don't know. But that's that's the story is that he's clean. Okay. And good for him, I guess. Yes. The man, the man looks strung out in person, so I'm not sure if I believe that. <laughs> that was years ago, though. We saw That's that. That's true. He might, he might still have been, you know, still have had problems. He, he might have been on and off the wagon five times since then. Yeah. Who, who knows? You guys are going to see some pretty great stuff happening now. There we go. Finally? Finally. Finally. They should be able to hear and see Invisible Ink. All right. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit. Picture and sound. Thank you, Octo J. Octo J, our okay. greatest mod, because he's our newest mod. I don't need the stinking headphones. You don't want the headphones? I'm you don't want to hear the. Fine. You don't want to hear the soothing sounds. I can put it close to my head. I don't want to. I'm 
reverse bus. Oh my god, this cord doesn't reach. Um, nope, nope, that doesn't reach. Actually, just unplugged. Oh. Uh, Jack, please tell Rich and Jay to wish me a happy birthday. I'm Garby the B-Day Boy. You don't want Jack to Gab- wish you a happy birthday, Gab- too? Gabri, Gabri the B-Day Boy would like only Rich and Jay to wish him a happy birthday. Not, not as long as you're discriminating against my friend Jack. <laughs> Oh, well, thanks, Rich. Yeah, wow. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stand up for you. Wow. Or I'm gonna click the play game button because we've been streaming for half an hour. No. <laughs> we've only it's been streaming like for ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> start, start new game. Okay. Mm. What are we doing? Oh, well, you don't have endless unlock yet on yours, so. Oh, oh, you, well, you, you, know, beat, yeah. you beat story mode, yeah. and then endless mode unlocks. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, just start a new story. Mode. Oh, there seems to be some confusion. Octo J is not me, J. It's a different J. Should we, for the sake of the stream, should we play through the tutorial or not? No, no. Skip the tutorial? Skip the tutorial. Okay. We know, we okay. know what's going on. If they have questions, we'll talk. Here's, here's a better question. Yeah. Z or normal? Since we, we did, the, the review came out today. Mm. And uh, I especially bitched about how hard the game is. Yeah. Then right after we shot that, they uh, released a, an update to the game, and now there is an easy mode. Well, you know what? Let's play easy mode to show you how still hard as fucking balls it is. <laughs> ah! Even on easy mode, I can't win this game. Well, and you know what? We just need to unlock I got, some shit. Oh, God, so. you, don't, you don't have Banks on, or Shalem? Oh, this is a new download. Oh, God. Because I've been playing on my Mac side, so oh, it's brand new. God, you're... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I got to do this with shit equipment. You have to do this Jack. with shit equipment. Jack! J- Rich. 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 Sometimes life isn't fair. <laughs> Sometimes life is Here we hard. go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I don't even know what the problem is. Really. Back That's okay. Let me get closer to the screen so I can read text and like. Sure. Oh, right. do what you do. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You guys are. What did I happen? What did I happen? Okay. I don't know. What you just did. That was weird. Thin. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
I, you, I could. He's going to turn around. He might not see no, me. No, there's no cover where that is, though. I mean, it's not worth the risk, probably. But I'm just saying, it's... Also, guys, make sure you close those doors. This this it's, game is all about politeness. It's, it, it sounds like we're joking, but you, you'll be shocked when you... You get caught by a guard who walks by the door you left open, and he only sees you because you left the door open. <laughs> Every fucking time that I uh, that my character ends up fucked later in the game, it's because I left the door open. Every single goddamn time. Alright. I found the elevator out, mm -hmm. which is nice. It. It's not. They did a review. <laughs> Close the fucking door! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, he walks back there, doesn't he? I can't hide there. Shoot. Fro frozen synapses balls. Awesome balls. What? What? Frozen synapse. Oh, a lot of people were making suggestions of other grid-based movement, turn-based strategy games. Oh, oh. Um, in the YouTube comments that, yeah. that you might enjoy. Okay. So, okay. And what, I, is, I, I, what is frozen synapses? I, I think it's one of those. I, well, I, 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 I gathered that much, but... Is... What? <laughs> you guys, you type some things sometimes, and I just literally have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna say that. Yes, starring Cameron Mitchell. I am. I also am upset that I did not make that joke. Someone, <laughs> someone said we should have inserted the clip of Cameron Mitchell saying "close the fucking door." Yeah, That's we didn't. We make reference to that while we were playing too at some point. I, I'm sure we. Did. Yeah. It's, you know, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I missed that joke. Oh, son of a bitch. What'd you do? I just, I can't do much is the problem. But then no, you mean much. just in life? I, I can't get around this corner because of this guard. Yeah, there's no joke because he's too busy playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> I thought oh, I, 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 I hear and understand now. Yeah. <laughs> now I get it. Well, after the fact. Okay. Ooh, Shadow Run, Run, Shadow Run Returns is a game that I keep hearing. Uh, a game that you should play. Have you ever played Shadow Run Returns? No, I'm not familiar with Shadow Run. So. There you go, people. Rich fucked up. Everything's fucked. <laughs> failed. Yeah, failed reference. Drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's turn-based, but all your movements, all your units moving together. We like grid-based. Or Rich does, or whatever. Shut up. <laughs> oh god, there's nothing. Shut else up, leave me alone. <laughs> there's nothing behind there anyway. This is all for nothing. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Mm -hmm. Have you have you reached another empty? Oh, well, it has the elevator, so it's not technically an empty room. No, but this guy's gonna turn around the very next turn. Yeah, where's he gonna go, though? It's far too early to be knocking people out. No, no, don't knock him out. Where's he gonna go? I only got two. I got. Eh. No, you have six. You can. Yeah, you can still. I bet you can hide still behind that desk. And he he's going. He's walking behind that desk. No, I mean on this side. Of no, the he'll desk. he'll come when he's coming this way. He'll blatantly see. I me. guarantee you, he won't. Also, I don't guarantee you. You can hide on this wall. <laughs> you can hide on this wall, and he I'm, won't see you. I'm doing this. Fuck you. But now you're trapped. I, we'll see. You we'll, can hide we'll, on that we'll, wall and we'll, he wouldn't see you. We'll see. You fuck. <laughs> um, Lucas Farts subscribed. Thank you, Lucas Farts, for subscribing. Have a pizza roll. And that's a really amusing name. <laughs> yeah, he didn't see me. He didn't see me, Jack. Huh? He didn't see me. He, you could have yeah, been out here. I did smart. Yeah. <laughs> I I made smart. J. Lucas Arts is the name of a famous video game. It is. The it vision is. of Lucas. Lucas Arts. And you add enough to that, and it's farts. I guess it. farts. You don't need to explain the jokes to me. And so, what he's doing is he's taking like a reference that we all know, <laughs> Lucas Arts. Yes. But also making it a joke about passing gas through your butthole. <laughs> Now I get it. Good. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> what? Ooh, sorry, we are unable to connect to chat. Reconnecting in two seconds. Hooray! Can what I videos do I have planned for the RLM annual stream? I don't know yet. It's what? only September. Oh, and Mike Shotgun just subscribed. Thanks, Mike Shotgun. Good. Is that... 
Is he like describing what he's going to do? <laughs> is that what that is? He shot a gun? I don't know. I think that's a threat. Oh, well, it could be. Remember the dig? I don't remember the dig. Was there a game called The Dig? Yeah, it was a LucasArts adventure game. I haven't played it though. Oh. Couldn't tell you what the fuck happened. They made a lot of old adventure games. I I haven't played any of them. I don't think I've. Did they do any games for Super Nintendo? Like the Star Wars games were those? Those were May probably LucasArts games. I would any imagine, anything right? Star Wars back in the day was okay, LucasArts. That would be the only LucasArts game I ever played then. Yeah, the the Star Wars trilogy. Um, I think it was Super Nintendo, right? And everything. Could be. Well, that's what I had it for was Super Nintendo. Um. Also, Maniac Mansion? I never played that. Okay. I'm familiar with it. I've heard of it, but... Liana says, 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 uh, Oh, Rich, our interview is under editorial review. Do you remember the interview we yeah. did like eight months ago for Liana says, says? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to come up soon. Okay. Okay, thank you, Liana says, says. By under review, I was like, what does that mean? Does it mean we, I did something questionable? And they're it deciding means, yes. whether or not they can use it? Pretty much. We can't. They're deciding whether they want to turn it over to the authorities or not. <laughs> we can't show this to anybody. This is unusable. What did you do, Leon? What did you do? You're fired. <laughs> locked door. The red doors are locked. You need a pass key. That's true. I'm just letting people don't know that. Oh, you're right, you're right. I, I know you know, know that. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I forget we have to tell people things. That's our problem. But you don't have to. Sure, that's true, dude. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever. This is your world. <sighs> okay. I should uh, tell the, the stream. We were we were off uh, last week, and I didn't do my solo stream this weekend because I was in Seattle all weekend. Seattle's a really pretty place. I like Seattle. We, uh, we had a lot of fun. I was there for a bachelor party. And everything was really nice and pretty. So that's it. Bye. <laughs> that's a great story. Yeah, I thought you'd like What it. a great story, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently Tommy Wiseau has been cast in Samurai Cup, too. Yes. Which is a little odd. That makes me. Well, that means that they're pretty... trying to deliberately make a bad movie, which is actually. Well, that's my concern. It's up until now, I wasn't sure what they were going for, but that that kind of tips it into. Oh, okay. We were, we're intentionally but, doing something bad. Uh, did you see the Kickstarter jump after that news broke? No. Yeah. Really? They actually might have. Uh, how, check out close there to their goal now. Oh, sure. Yeah, I checked a couple hours after the news broke, and it jumped. Really? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Still. Almost 35,000. Might not make it. 11 days to go? I don't know. It's possible. It's been steadily going up. Wow. Usually seems like, I think Kickstarter, isn't it? There's usually a big burst right at the beginning and then right at the end. Sure. So, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, at this point, it'd probably be worth it just for them to raise the rest themselves. <laughs> well, they have all the money themselves. Yeah. This is just for some additional effects work or whatever, but... That's right. That's right. I don't know. That's right, Jay! Eh. Oh my god. I don't think I have any interest in seeing Tommy Wiseau in anything else. Except for the disaster artist, where he plays himself, but that's not happening. Is, is that confirmed that he's not playing himself? I, I think it's been confirmed that James Franco's playing that part, which is horrible. Oh, he's still in here. Oh, I would hate that. Yeah. I would hate that. Well, it's such a shame, because it's a good book. It's an interesting story. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully they do something fun with it. I, I don't know. I don't know how much information. I don't think they have a director attached, unless Franco's doing that, too. I got no idea. Well, it's Franco and Rogan, right? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. It's Franco and Joe Rogan. <laughs> so Joe Rogan... Well, it's their production company. He's going to do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good joke. <laughs> hmm. Franco is playing Greg. Oh, okay. I He's playing Greg Sestero? That can I mean, I'm sure that's not that true. Is, yeah. I, can, I, I could buy that. They're just saying things. I would be okay with that. Yeah. But I would really like to see Tommy Wiseau play himself. I don't want to see someone do a bad impression of him. But you can't have Tommy Wiseau play himself. He He's Tommy Wiseau. Like... That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You had a little anarchy to the movie. It would be great. <laughs> he wouldn't remember the lines. He'd say weird things. It would make the movie better. Snort likes whiskey. 
Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate that. Pizza roll! And OctoJ, thank you for saying thank you, because that makes me see when people subscribe. <laughs> Who does what? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. Yeah. Mickey Rourke is Tommy Wiseau. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, he'd go, he'd go full honk. See that? Yeah. Maybe. I'm, I'm picturing it being someone like, like James Franco or someone younger that'll just do like a bad impression. But if you get just a really great actor, someone that you wouldn't expect to be in something like that. Sure. Is that a, a locked door to an empty room? Oh, whatever. So oh, it looks weird. like there's some shit in there. There's nothing in here. There's nothing. Well, there, there's another door. This, that is the locked door. I came around before. I went around to oh, the side to see what was sure. in here, and nothing. Well, that, you know what that is? That's a secondary <clears throat> exit if you had the key card. Okay. okay. So that doesn't count as an empty room. Keep making, keep making sure to call out when you get a completely empty room. Because then people have to take a drink. <laughs> That's the rule. Well, there's nothing in the room other than a door. That's that counts. Ah, all right, all right. Ivanya, Ivanya, thank you for subscribing. Go have him. Oh, I'm not drunk. I haven't been drinking yet. <laughs> I'll get there. I, I'll get there. I just had I have problems talking sometimes. Ooh. Brian Cranston is Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> no, that I can't see. Good actor, but but like who who was um. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna forget his name. Who was uh, the in Iron Man three, the villain? What's it? Ben King. Ben Kingsley. Ben Kingsley. Oh my god. <laughs> this, like a really respectable actor who's well known for getting very into a role. Yeah. He's not the real Mandarin. <laughs> um, spoilers. I still say though, it doesn't matter who you get. Tommy Wiseau would be the best choice. Tommy was so. Perhaps the best way to make that movie is to not have, have a key card. Tommy have a key card. Yes! I'm sorry, I'm playing the game. I, <laughs> That's I shouldn't be playing the game. Play just the keep game. playing the game. Ah. If something exciting happens, tell us. And we'll talk. Well, I just knocked out a guy and I got a key card. Hey, congratulations. So now you can get into all the red doors. Yes. That's <clears> great. <throat> but now he's going to get up and be pissed. Oh, I'm going to stay on top of him and, and, and not let him get up. Yeah, stay on top of him. Uh, what if I and I haven't read the Disaster Hours? I would like to. It's good, very good book. I that's what I that's what I hear. But what if the the book takes place with Tommy kind of in the shadows? There's no way to tell that story. Would that be the case? There's no way to tell the story of the production without having Tommy. It, well, it's not just the production; it's also his personal relationship with Greg Sestero, mm. the other actor from the movie. Okay. Um, which I didn't know before reading the book. I didn't know that they had such a long history before making the movie. They just weird kind of friendship, kind of rivalry thing. Mm -hmm. More so from Tommy Wiseau's end, but... Yeah, their relationship is the the, the heart of the entire book. There oh. wouldn't be any way to make that without, yeah. okay. without that, so... That's good to know. Without that, you have nothing. What? Without me, you have nothing? Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe I'll pick that up next to read. Go for it. It's a quick read. I have, lo I have lots. I just discovered. I read this book that I loved. It was called Wool. I've talked about it many times. Oh, yeah. yeah Sci fi. Yeah, yeah. Post apocalyptic. Everyone lives in a giant silo underground. Mm. It's like Lord of the Rings to get from floor to floor because mm. there's like 140 levels. Oh. No elevator. Oh. Anyway, I, I really love the book and I, can't, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And then I found out that since that book was so popular, the guy has written like six other books in the same universe. Okay, not direct sequels, just other stories. Like there was a prequel. There was like stuff that happens in different places in the world. Like, okay, I haven't. I don't know if they're all connected yet. Mm. But so I've I've been chomping through them all. That's <laughs> great. Jack, so, nice. are you gonna do it? I forgot to close the door. You forgot to close the door? <laughs> I forgot to close the door. Oh, that's gonna fuck you later. No, I'm not going back that way. So might not bite me in the ass. Just everyone but take, everyone take note. Where's that open door? It's right over there. That's show, right over. show everyone where it is. Uh, right here. Right there. Right here. Take note if Rich gets fucked right there, it's his <laughs> own damn fault for not closing the door. <laughs> Alright. A B C D, motherfucker. Always be closing doors. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
never heard that before. Huh? I've never heard that before. Have you ever seen Glen Gary, Glen Ross? No, I have not. Um, you should see it. There's a lot of motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> everyone cusses in that movie. That's that's a thing Alec Baldwin is, is like this uber salesman. A, B, C. Always B. Closing. It's it's an intense movie. It's not okay. very good, but it's fun. <laughs> Glenn Gary Glenn Ross joke. Thank you, everybody, for <laughs> joining us for the Glenn Gary Glenn Ross joke hour. <laughs> I don't live in a barn now. I've never lived in a barn. I had a barn near me. Mm. I've always lived in houses <laughs> or apartments, okay. which are kind of like houses, but they're connected to other tiny houses. Jack, yes. why are you so negative against barns now? Why am I, <laughs> why am I so negative yeah. against barns? Um, you know, because I spent my youth, my youth building them. I was Amish. <laughs> that's not true. That's, that's not true. <laughs> I have nothing but respect for the Amish. Because I wouldn't want them to hear this. Except, <laughs> except for the ones with beards. <laughs> oh, fuck those guys. Holier than now. <laughs> I was thinking about over the holiday season growing my beard back. Jack, <laughs> stop barn shaming. <laughs> barn shaming. Oh, fuck security camera. That's right, you can swear in the chat. I changed it so you can write swear words in the chat. Congratulations, child bride. Fuck yeah. All the fucks and shits and asses you want. Fuck. That is something you have the ability to, to change? Because I know some streaming sites you can. Ah, yeah, you can. There, yeah. You can opt You can opt out of the globally banned words. Okay. So there's a group of globally banned words, and I was opt-in for a while just because I didn't know. It was a... You guys want to slow the chat? Is it getting that fast already? I mean, come to the <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading everyone's swear words. A big floppy donkey dick. I love swear words. <laughs> you just ruined the chat. Yay! Also. I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I just turned on slow mo. The room is now in slow mode. Uh, and I don't believe uh, subscribers... Uh, subscribers aren't... Shouldn't be affected by slow mode. Oh, okay. So, subscribers go nuts. Everyone else, you're in slow mode. Shit. <laughs> Poopy fox. <laughs> my, Poopy fox. My mistakes are just Did compounding someone, on me now. Did someone see you through the door? They're going to. Uh-oh. <sighs> You know what the wonderful thing about guards is? Okay, so guard one and overwatch. Okay. That means I move more than one square, he's gonna shoot me. Yeah. But here's here's the wonderful thing about doors. What? <laughs> and now he can't, now he can't see me. Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> put, put my guys in the melee overwatch and... <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> that is, I mean, it's dumb. Yes. I love it. Like, literally, he was on the other side of the door, and you just slowly closed it. <laughs> and he was, I don't know where he went. I'm really sorry. <laughs> he got away from me. Now we're going to get the fuck out of here. Domini and Fairy just subscribed. Thank you, Domini and Fairy. Dick butt. Dick butt. Ah. Sheet metal cock? What? Now you're just saying words with swears, which I 100% encourage. Uh, hey, you did it! Yeah. Congratulations. Well, that's just one level. Uh, oh, yeah, was that still the first level? Yeah! Oh my god. That's great. <laughs> FTL is greater than invisible. I mean... Uh, invi yeah. Remember this, guys. Invisible yes, Ink... Yes, but this is a fine game. Invisible Ink is not done yet. It's not done yet. So... And they're different. They're two different games. I enjoy FTL a lot, but I'm also enjoying Invisible Ink. I, I really want it to be done now. That's the real thing. Sub hype? Is there sub? Do we have another? Oh, no, we're done. The security yeah, telemetry from this installation. Dildo the Blender. Okay. <laughs> is that someone's name? I thought you were going to say Dildo Baggins. Dildo, oh, Dildo which would have been great. No, someone that's someone's swear. <laughs> oh, that's their swear? So Dildo Blender? The question is, is it a blender that blends dildos, <laughs> or is it a blender that has rotating dildos and the dildos <laughs> blend things? Either way, neither of those are, are swear words. Is 
dildo. Yeah, dildo's it's not a swear word. You probably can't say it on TV, though. I'm, I'm only comfortable associating with one of those people. What? Someone who blends dildo. Well, I guess, I guess dildo, not, not the actual penis, is different. Like a blender that would specifically design for d- chopping up penises? That would, <laughs> that, would, that, that, would, that would not be somebody I'd want to hang around with that name. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? We're talking about dildos. That's different. (laughs) (laughs) The question is... Dildo is just a fake dick. Yeah. It's related. Sure. It's all related. (laughs) The question is, what would someone want with a dildo paste? (laughs) Or would several dildos spinning quickly make an efficient blender? I, I think that would be a highly inefficient blender. I think either product would be a huge failure sure. if it were to be sure. uh, turned into a real item. Unless dildo paste suddenly became the big thing. <laughs> what would you use it for? It's like Suguru, that like glue anything to anything stuff. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> Suguru is like, it's, it's like Play-Doh, right? Mm. But as soon as it's done, um, after a couple hours, it, it hardens and it turns into like an impenetrable rubber. Okay. And so you can use it to like fix anything. Oh. So maybe that's what ground up dildos do. <laughs> I'm going to guess not. Probably not. <laughs> if anyone knows anyone who works at Suguru, not to be conflu- confused with Suburu, Suguru. Bye. Dildo Baggins. Now, you guys, you guys are just getting Dildo Baggins now? Um, furniture still counts as an empty room, but there's nothing useful in there? Yeah. Empty room. Empty room! Take a drink! <laughs> yeah. No, only only if only if there's something you can interact with in the room. Okay. Whether it's another door, the elevator, a uh, camera, you know, <clears throat> any, any of that kind of stuff. But if it's an empty room, we e- take even, it. Even a camera? That doesn't, you know, that doesn't serve any function, really. It's something you can interact with, though. Uh, all right. I mean... All right, that's fair enough. We'll decide, We'll see how drunk these people want to get. <laughs> they, they want to die. They want... <laughs> uh... Dildo paste, recommended by Best of the Worst. <laughs> Thank you. What? Chat seized up. Ah, oh, the chat seized Yeah, you know what? The chat seized up for us a couple times, too. We don't know why. Shh. Yeah, I popped out the chat, and that seemed to fix it, so. Oh, good. Maybe try that. Good. It's, it seems to be freezing for different people at different times for some reason. Well. I blame everyone else. They, they, they're, I, I see someone in the chat say, talk about movies, cum nuggets. Not now. Now, but now we won't. Now when you say that. Not when you say call us. When you use such filthy language. It sounds like you're calling us cum nuggets, and that's a little insulting to cum nuggets. <laughs> what is a cum nugget? <laughs> it's nothing. It's 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 a combination of words to create a new it's, obscenity. It's not a solid. It's an impossible it'd be thing. Like, it'd be like it'd be like popcorn shrimp. You know, like little pieces of semen breaded and deep fried. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> yeah, this is going. To you, you, you need some specialized equipment to make that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to freeze it first. It's like it's like a deep fried candy bar. Have you guys ever had deep fried candy bars? I have not. They're great. No, oh. they're super fantastic. Um, at the state fair, I always get a deep fried Milky Way. I think. I think I had a deep fried Oreo mm. mm-hmm. at the steak fair. We have had deep fried Oreos. Yes. This oh, did I have that with you when we went there to eat all the food? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's those right. Those are good. Those were good. Yeah. Deep fried candy bars, though, legit. Because it makes the candy bar all melty. <gasps> also, deep fried Oreos, legit, too. Those are good. Yeah. Hard to screw up deep fried. I had deep fried green beans, those were good. What did I have that was really bad? Oh, I had a deep fried s'mores. And it tasted like cardboard. Was that when we went there? Or was yeah. this a different time? I remember, remember that's that. what ended it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, a very failed video that I tried to make once. Was... Oh, was that the one where I, I egged you on to do the one last thing? Yeah. Okay, that's and right. it almost made me hurl. <laughs> uh, I had a video idea where I'd go to State Fair and just try to eat all of the disgusting things that I could in, in one afternoon. And Jay came and filmed it for me. It turned out not to work out because, as it turns out, watching me eat things isn't that entertaining. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we still tried, and I got to eat a lot of gross things. And the last thing I ate 
was a deep fried s'more. And it was just a s'more, chocolate marshmallow graham crackers, battered and deep fried, which sounds amazing. It seems like it would be fine. But I think I'd eaten so much that my tongue stopped working. <laughs> And so it just tasted like cardboard. Yeah. It made it made me want to hurl. I did not. <laughs> I did not hurl. <laughs> Ew. Now oh, you guys are saying gross things. Let's see. I didn't say well, I kinda said that. Um Right, you guys would all watch Rich Evans eat a hamburger, of course, but that's entertaining. <laughs> well, that's right, we did make that a video. I don't think anyone wanted me to make that its own separate video. And you just did. And I just did it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That may be one of the least liked videos we've made, which makes it funnier to me. You just hate your audience, James. <laughs> Did I expect from what? Oh, I, I expected some comedy in the eating stuff video because I would talk about the food and, you know, it was like a challenge, like how much can I eat? Yeah. It was a lot. I think I did the math and and I think I ate over, I ate over twelve thousand calories. Oh my god. Um, I remember you weighed yourself when we got back and you gained like. I gained like three pounds. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say three or four or somewhere. I, I, gained, I weighed myself right before we left and right when we came back. Mm -hmm. And I gained like three. It could have been four pounds. And so it was like a little experiment, and I thought I could make something funny out of it. And very quickly, it's like, nope, this is just me eating. Not funny. <laughs> Maybe it's something about food videos, because we tried to do something with the Denny's Hobbit menu last year. Yeah. And we never fin I never finished the video, because it just didn't work. Yeah, food's tough. Cause, you know, it's it, just inherently disgusting. It is. <laughs> it, it rides that line between funny and gross. And yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? Failure is always an option. <laughs> that's something I like to what say. Were we, what were we saying, Rich, in that video? I know we were all, like, talking like idiots and saying bizarre things about the food. We are just coming with jokey names for what they called it. It's like Bilbo's Burp Barf. Burger. <laughs> what? I don't remember. Wasn't it? Wasn't that it? When we were coming up with the names, we thought it was really funny, but then when we shot it, it just wasn't. <laughs> I don't remember. The, the constipation of smog. Was, wasn't that some of the things we were saying? Later, this is going to run out of my hobbit hole. Yeah. And say stuff like that. I don't remember. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. It seemed funny. The idea seemed funny at the time, but we couldn't make anything funny out of it. Yeah. All right. So that's an unreleased video. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everything's funny 100% of the time. All the time, yeah. That's that's the glorious thing about editing, is you take out the not funny stuff. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes that's the entire video. Or sometimes you take something that isn't funny and make it funny with the editing. Yes. Yeah. It's the entire foundation <laughs> of Red Letter Media. <laughs> Goodies. Hey, that German dude. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate your pizza roll. What? Oh, wait. That could be good. So, uh, totally not Jake says, Jack, watching you eat things is almost as entertaining as watching you play video games. Which I'm going to say is uh, pretty entertaining, so thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. I have to go to the other room now. And you're certain that's the way he meant it, Absolutely. Right? Okay. That's absolutely. Yeah. No other way it could have been meant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. So he's saying he, he wants me to make this video. This two year old eating things at the state fair video. Gonna happen. <laughs> All these goodies. That's a, you know what? That's a good question. Uh, Ethronok uh, wants Rich and I to discuss our feelings on horror video games. Not a fan. That's my feelings on horror video games. All right. Wait, 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 You're not wait. a big fan of horror. I'm not a big yeah. fan of horror in general. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I want to be scared, I'll just take a long, hard look at my life. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I like horror movies, and I like scary movies. Uh, I find horror video games to constantly be unimpressive. I, I, Is it not scary? Or? It's not, no, it's not. 
it's never. It's it's either not scary or it's 100% cheap jump scare. Oh, okay. That would drive me nuts. It's like, then what's the fucking point? Yeah. You know, I, there, there's very few games that make me feel <clears throat> scared. There are many games that make me feel tense, but they have nothing to do with horror. Yeah. If I'm getting later in a run of FTL, which, you know, you only get one life to make it through the whole game, and you get to those later levels, mm -hmm. and your ship is down to its last three bars, I am scared for my ship. Mm -hmm. And that's a real tense moment for me, but no horror game has ever done that. It's all spooky. I mean, I, I remember playing, like, Resident Evil, the Resident Evil games, and being a little creeped out. A good atmosphere, but I was never scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to be. Thief, Thief gave me a couple scares. A couple like, scares. eerie, scary feeling, and that wasn't a horror game, so. It had horror tones. It, it did it by actually generating a creepy, spooky atmosphere. Isn't that nice? And not by something like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I love it. Maybe like that's creep. Creep. Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Jump scares are 100% bullshit all the time. <laughs> not all the time. Oh. They can be used effectively. The end of uh, Friday the 13th is a jump scare. The end of Carrie is a jump scare. That's actually, they ripped off the end of Carrie with Friday the 13th, but... Oh. Because right. um, they said, we need to jump scare. Uh, but then again, that was a time when their movies... Like, that's what a lot of horror movies now are, is nothing but jump scares. Mm. 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 The bad horror movies, I should say. Are nothing but jump scares. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Jesus, that was the worst when it comes to jump scares. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I didn't see it. Just because you can startle people doesn't mean you're scaring them. <laughs> it's a loud noise. Yes, it's going to make someone jump. It has no lasting impact. <laughs> That's a really funny way to put it. It's true. Yeah. Just because one, one, one takes craft and care and, and skill and careful preparation, and the other one's just a cheap scare tactic. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a loud noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did I miss a safe? I missed a safe. I gotta go back. Go, go get it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Go get it's it. Safe. Get it's it. got money. It's got I'm money. I'm gonna get that money. <laughs> gotta get that cash. For anyone who, um, who doesn't know, uh, in probably, which is probably most of you, in this game you <laughs> use cash to upgrade your characters, and so the more money you get, the the more special moves you can get. So. You can also buy equipment, which you really need some decent equipment. Mm. Cash and money, the last, the last, no limit, soldier. <laughs> I'm making it. I'm I'm pantomiming as if I'm making it rain. <laughs> He's doing a stupid thing. That's what you guys should know. I'm making it rain. This is. Do you hear that? That's me. Uh, that's and I'm, me. I'm pantomiming grabbing the money. <laughs> that is. Throwing up. You really did. You <laughs> didn't need to actually pantomime that. You could have just said that. It's like radio. It was funnier my way. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you know, people, people sent us that Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, game because it's like the showbiz pizza bear the horror game so they thought that'd be a funny joke for rich to play it but as as soon as i start i started watching a playthrough to see like what it was all about to see if maybe it would be funny the second it started i knew exactly what was going to happen and it was and is it a jump scare thing it's a jump scare. a screamer thing yeah oh no. really the entire the entire game you are at like a a control panel and you can like close and open doors and see with uh security cameras but you can't move mm. and then you, you like you look at the control panel and you can look up in your room okay and then the the uh five minutes at the showbiz pizza bear characters start moving around and so you have to like close the right doors uh, and you look down at your thing and you can look up into your room guess what fucking happens at the end uh, yeah i think we were even <laughs> asking people last stream where it's like it's not just a screamer is it and everyone's like no no yeah so they're, they're, we yeah. can't trust you guys now they're a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> it's well established that most of our fans are assholes. <laughs> Absolutely. We we know we kind of encourage it, so <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, 
has Jack considered creating a best of video from the Twitch streams to establish the origins of catchphrases and already covered Q&As? Nope. <laughs> I have not considered that. Um, we're making other shit. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot of work to go through and find all that stuff. Oh, well, not a lot of work, but a lot of time. It would be a ton of time. Yeah. And, you know, all the, almost all the streams are up on YouTube now. And they're all broken up into, like, half-hour, hour chunks. So, if you feel like it, you can watch them or whatever. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. Or don't. Whatever. Or don't. Did I tell you guys, um, I thought it would be a really funny joke to play um, a Boys to Men song during my, sh my solo stream one time. <laughs> Okay. I thought it'd be really funny. It was um, if I ever fall in love again. Mm. Ooh, da da doom, yeah. da doom, right? Yeah. Which, by the way, is not boys to men. Who is it? It's um, shy. S H A I. Shy? Yeah. I don't even remember shy. Even the acapella version is shy, not boys to men. Oh. Shy, uh? Shy, shay? Maybe shay. Mm. S H A I. Anyway. I thought it'd be really funny, you know, and so like I started off the stream with that song before I was talking. It was like, eh, it's funny. It's a boys, you know, old R&B song. Yeah. Uh, with Twitch's new copyright recognition program, they recognized it, it flagged like it, found it and automatically muted it, yeah. mm. which I was totally prepared, prepared for right now. Uh, for the past broadcast, right but the, the song is four minutes. The they muted the first long. half hour. Oh, yeah, really? What the fuck is that? Huh. It's me right off. I've sent them now two emails. About Maybe they do that as like a penalty. Like you're gonna <laughs> mute it for half an hour if you do something. But in their in their little thing that says it's muted, it says like we will never mute your live content. Oh. So like they want us to do stuff like that live, huh? But they muted a half hour, so I've sent them now two emails being like, hey, review this. Yeah. Mute the four minutes. I per I purposefully took a break after that so I could edit that out for later. Mm -hmm. Give me my stream, yo. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm just sorry to hear that. I, that's my story. No, I haven't even had a beer yet. I, my hate for the fans is is uh, all natural. <laughs> <laughs> totally not, Jake. This game is not boring. He says this game is boring. Let's play more FTL. <laughs> like, Blow it out your ass. <laughs> this game is so exciting, guys. I I don't know if you could tell from our review that came up today, uh, but we really enjoyed this, and this is a very exciting game. Even though it's all turn-based tactical stuff, it's all very nail-biting. We really enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I really enjoy it. But see, that's the thing. It wasn't Boys to Men. It's Shay. <laughs> I thought it was Boys to Men. And then I, and then I felt bad because I thought it was Shay. <laughs> And I had been attributing the song to Boys to Men all these years. Mm -hmm. But then I found out, oh no, Shay has the instrumental version, or the instrument version, and, or yeah, Shay has the instruments, Boys to Men does the acapella version. Okay. But then, no, it's both Shay! <laughs> you know how I knew for sure? I was having this conversation over this weekend, and a guy uh, had Shay on his iPod, and he had me listen to it. Why would he have that? He's black. <laughs> <laughs> No, he was a fan of Shy. Uh, He's a fan of Shy. I don't think I've ever even heard of Shy. You, if you've heard this song, you've heard of Shy. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess, but I didn't know it was them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you people? That's right, Dr. J. When we take a break from the pre-rec live stream, you should all take a moment to watch the latest pre-rec. <laughs> How long is that? 15, 16 minutes? 16 like minutes. I think it's our longest one yet. 16 really? hours! Yeah. Yeah. It only feels like 16 hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first couple of ones I was trying Whoa, to get down to like 10 Look at that okay. hallway. And then I realized, fuck it. And, and down to when you think you got all the proper information across. And... Oh, yeah, but you know me. I, I, I get in those modes where it's like, no, it has to be 10 minutes. No, mm. 10 minutes. Gotta, gotta move fast. Gotta move fast. Yeah. A D D. But yeah, now it's all fuck it. Wow. All right. There's a couple good jokes in there. I drink a big vat of gin. It's funny. Comedy. It's not funny. It's not, no, it's not funny. Big joke. Make I'm assuming that was not actually gin, right? No, it was. It was. It was vodka. 
<laughs> but you know that you put that up there and people are gonna like all talk about russia and it's like that's i understand a yeah. hot button topic now <laughs> <laughs> I greatly enjoyed your discussion on the usefulness of beta access. Thank you. I uh, apparently Rich has been. It seemed like a lot of people hated it in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. This is ruining the game industry. Hate? Oh, not not. They didn't hate the discussion. They hated. They hate early access. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which I was in favor of. Yeah. Mm. Hold on, real quick. Uh, thank you, Pimpled Bottoms, for subscribing. If that Pimpled Bottoms. Say that a few more times. Pimpled Bottoms. That's a <laughs> fine username. Go on, Rich. So people were hating on yeah, yeah. you liking Early Access. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. And here's the thing. I also hate on Early Access. But in re in when I was editing that section of Rich and I having a disagreement, Rich convinced me. Oh. The usefulness. And so I, in the edit, I took out a lot of my argument because I felt Rich won. Like, oh, wow. He, it, it, it doesn't always work. There's going to be some scam artists. There's going to yeah. be some games that just don't come together and flat out fail. But there's great games that would never have gotten made otherwise. That's true. And that's absolutely true. And and like if you think about all the crap that gets pushed through AAA game design. Oh, God, yeah. That same kind of crap is going to exist on the indie level. And that was something that... You know, we're very lucky with all of the great games that we get. <laughs> for But, you know, for every FTL, for every Risk of Rain, there's going to be garbage. Mm. But the developers who use Early Access and make a great game really do need that money to take a risk. Okay. And not every risk works out. Mm. And Rich made a, an eloquent argument. I'm still not going to buy Early Access games. I, you know, I like to wait for the full thing to be done. But I'm no longer going to hate. Mm. No more hating on them. <laughs> I see. So, oh yeah, I, I thought it was a very good discussion on early 